My name is Marwa Shumu and I conducted my PhD at CEF studying the role of black soja fly in livestock production and organic waste bioconversion. Why are we talking about black soja flies at this time and why is it important for us? Let me tell you from the start uh, the greatest challenge we are faced in the 21st century. We are going to be 10 billion people living on planet Earth in the year 2050 and then we have to come up with a solution. How are we going to feed all this amount of humans. We are also uh, witnessing changes in uh, diet preferences favoring more animal-based proteins, meaning the demand towards animal protein is increasing. In addition, we have also seen rapid movements uh, and migrations from rural to urban environments. And by the mid of this century, more than 50% of the population of the earth is going to be living in urban areas. Urban areas also brings with it waste and more waste. And now we have to find a solution for all these complex challenges. During my research, I proposed a solution to all these complex challenges. I looked and explored the use of the black soldier fly in bioconversion of organic waste and livestock feed production. It's a fly that has a cosmopolitan distribution, so it's not only limited to one geographic location. It's a, f a fly that is known to be able to consume nearly each and every kind of organic waste. And then it's not known to be a carrier of diseases, unlike the common house fly. The black soja fly itself is also very high in, in protein content and, this, and, and has a nutritive profile that is of a similar quality to the fish meal. Now imagine if you could substitute fish meal, which is very unsustainable and costly, with something like a, f a feed produced out of black soja fly. Um, black soldier flies don't require the space that we require and the resources we require when we produce livestock feed from soybean for instance and it's not going to over exploit the oceans like overfishing in order to produce uh, fish meal. We conducted our field research and extensive laboratory experiments in the Kenyan capital Nairobi. Nairobi is an urban mega city and we want it to be a model to the, to the other mega cities in the developing world in general. We, uh, we, out, we sourced locally present and readily available organic waste streams. Uh, we tried several types of organic waste streams. We looked into their nutritional content, we looked into their safety, and we also looked into their uh, utilization uh, if we wanted to apply this technique on a large scale. After conducting extensive laboratory experiments, um, we can conclude that it's possible to take advantage of black soldier flies on a commercial large scale, uh, to use it as a tool to bioconvert organic waste and then to produce livestock feed out of the black soldier fly as a byproduct of the process. Um, there are challenges when we are going to upscale this technique and we have to take them into consideration. Uh, they have to be part of our future research, I think. Um, for instance, we have to select, uh, find a way to standardize um, the, the rearing uh, methods that we use. Uh, we have to also find a way to understand the relationship between um, environmental conditions and the development of black soldier fly and whether the changes that happen during these processes are subjected to change uh, due to climate conditions or environment conditions or whether there is a genetic uh, reason behind it. We also need to look into studies uh, that are related to the health and safety of um, the consumption of black soldier fly as livestock feed. Um, this is to make sure once that the black soldier flies derived feed that is going to be consumed by animals and that later on will be consum consumed by humans is safe when it enters our food chain. Uh, 
At the end, uh, we hope through our research and publications that we will inspire policymakers, especially in sub-Saharan Africa, to look, to look into the issue of establishing a unified legal framework or a set of regulators that would regulate the the, the industry of insect farming in general and the industry of the use of black soldier fly as livestock feed in specific. Um, moving forward, this is something that we need very much in order to set standards and, and to have precautions and to make sure that we are moving in the right sustainable way.